Let's take a Team G503 look at the heat control valve assembly. The Willis MB L134 engine. And we've got our intake and exhaust manifold. We've got this little doohickey down here that some call a lollipop. And it's really counterweight. And it's part of the heat riser assembly. I put together a little video a while back just showing exactly how this works and explaining its function. Check it out. I want to show you a few things here. This would be the new spring installed. This would be the spring washer. This would be the counterweight. This would be the spring stop. This is just a temporary nut that I've installed to enable to show the, our test tonight. There is a key here that is keyed inside the shaft that actually opens and closes. You can see if you pull this up straight as it would sit on your motor that your counterweight sits at what we would call a four o'clock position. And what I'm going to attempt to do tonight is just put some heat to this and show you the proper functioning of how this would open and close so you would have your warm air from your exhaust on a cold start heat your intake manifold that we placed here and that would allow proper atomization of your fuel in the carburetor on a, on a cold start again. So let's uh, see if we can't put some heat to this and uh, see if we can't get it to work correctly. This would be in the cold position. It is uh, 53 degrees here in Charleston, South Carolina and that is full open. Get my propane torch here. Don't try this at home, you might burn the house down. I'm going to put a little heat to this just to watch the spring. The way the spring works is there's an arm right here that rests on the stock. And it's cold, so the metal is cold and it's open. When you put the heat to it, the metal will contract and pull in and it will close that valve. Bear with me here, this will work. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to burn the paint off that I've worked so hard to get on. There we go. As the spring heats, it contracts and closes the valve. Simple mechanism, but very, very important for proper L134 functioning. And there you have it. As that cools, the inside flap will open again. But it'll take a few minutes for that to happen. So this will be the end of our tutorial. And I'm very, very happy with the outcome here with my exhaust manifold and my heat riser assembly. Pretty neat little assembly, isn't it? Now, I've got a couple things I want to add to that video. Number one, if you're going to try this, don't put too much heat to that spring because you can heat it up too much and take the temper out of it and ruin its function. It is a critical uh, assembly to the operation of the L134. I've seen some times out there where folks have told, been told just wire that you know, open. I wouldn't recommend that. It's not that hard to put back together, and you can have some fun with it too. If you like what we're doing with the Team G503 videos here on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and the notifications to let you know when we get new videos out. Once again, my friends, keep it safe and happy. All parts for the restoration of the 1943 Willis MB Team G503 project are provided by Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts.